Hey guys, thanks for joining me in another video. Uh, so in this video, I wanted to talk about uh, customizations of your device. So most of us have a device where you know it's um, you can't really do anything with it, and it's uh, just got the same theme on there. So uh, there's actually uh, for people that don't want to root and don't want to jailbreak. There's lots of launchers and themes out there that you can pick up for your device. But for Android, and I, I gotta check and see if it's on uh, iOS, I'm not sure, but there's Themer. And Themer is, is it, it's a, I gotta say it's a beautiful launcher for your device. It basically changes your device to look a different way and there's a bunch of different themes that you can apply. So you don't have to do, you don't have to try to make it and do anything to the device. You can just go straight to the themes and it will give you a list of things, most popular, uh, um, just all these different themes, and each theme has its own little thing about it that makes it unique. So I've been using Themer for a while now, so um, the way you get Themer, obviously you have to go into the App Store or the Market or whatever, and after you get in there and you get it, you're on a, it's beta, so you're gonna have to wait to get an activation code. And I only waited a day or so to get an activation code, actually. And uh, it came and then you only get one code per device. If you have multiple devices, you're gonna have to do it for each device. And uh, when I signed up uh, the other day, it was about 80,000 people ahead of me. And the, the next day, believe it or not, I actually got my activation code and I've been using it. And Themer, uh, now even though I'm into technology and everything, um, I'm really not into rooting anymore. I used to do that a while back. Check out some of my older videos. You can see that I used to root root devices and uh, put different things on there and take the bloatware off. I'm to the point now where I don't even, that doesn't even bother me anymore, the, all the bloatware that's on there from carriers. Well, it bothers me, but not like it used to. And I'm not in a hurry to root my device or do anything like that. So sometimes I'll just put a launcher on there. And I gotta say, by far, this is one of the better launchers that I've actually experienced. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn on Themer here and set it for default. Oh, don't want to turn that on. Let me see if I can go into system settings and uh, set this as default. Well, I think I'm going to go back and um, turn off TouchWiz and then set it that way. You want to set it for your default. And when you first um, get into this, um, It'll t give you the option to to set it as um, as default. I'm just kind of making sure I clear the cache and and give it a fair chance. So you can see this part right here because this is what you're going to be faced with when you first put this on and you press your home button. So you want to choose Themer and always. Now, if I press the home button, it's all gone and it's good to go. So in your themes, when you press the menu button. You can see this is what comes up. You can browse themes, or I've already got some that I favored it. You can download themes. Um, I, there's one in particular that I really like the most. Um, let me see here. Let me find it. I guess I didn't save it. I want to apply that one. It's really good because I'm into reading a lot of the blogs. And. Uh, let me find it. I'm going to go ahead and, and add it to a favorite. It, it's, uh, I like it because you can get your RSV right at the bottom of the screen. And there's tons of places where you can find Here it is, Bruce. All right. That one has a nice RS feeder at the, at the bottom. So um, there's some that I'm going to go ahead and apply. So you can see that they all function differently. This is obviously the iOS themed. Um, iOS themed version as you can see here iOS 7 themed icons are all the same looks pretty good uh, and this one though when you swipe over it gives you your weather and you swipe to the right it reveals contacts so I don't want to you know put anybody's contacts out there but if you want to get into your app drawer with it appears to me with all of the themer um, application or excuse me all the themes that come with themer they all have the pretty much the stock android look for the app tray which i think is pretty cool but then when you get into the widgets 
you see the themer widgets on here and I think that's a pretty nice thing to have they have a few widgets here that you can use but the RS feed is, is the best one to me that I like so when you're not doing that this is a, a theme that uh, I have been using for a little while and uh, I'm gonna switch themes here to the one I really like which is the Bruce Lee thing. Let me show you this. So I started off with that one. So let me show you. Uh, I'm just going to go straight to the Bruce Lee one because I really like this one for the RS feed. It's got a. I can read everything at the bottom of the screen and then I'll show you how this one reacts to um, with the sliding uh, menu. It's really, really nice. Really nice feature. Themer is uh, still in beta though, remember. So we're going to go into our RS feed. We're going to manage our feeds. And these are the ones that come default. Let me see. No, these are the ones that I set. Okay, so it remembered. Okay, great. I had downloaded this and uh, I didn't save it, so it remembered all of my feeds. So now it's loading my feeds down there. And uh, you'll see the weather, the battery percentage, the time, the date. And that's really nice. You can access to your camera, your photos, and Google search. That is right up front. I think that's really good. So um, let me zoom, zoom out a little bit. And um, one second, let me adjust the camera. Okay, but you, yeah, I've had access to all of my feeds down here that I've chosen. Now there's plenty of RS feeds that you can put in there. I just selected a few of them and put them in here. Uh, but I think that um, this theme will be one that I use the most. Um, it's just a really nice theme because of that feed at the bottom. I really like that. Now. When you slide on this one, as you can see, there's nothing to the right, but when you slide to the left, it gives you all of your information right here. You've got access to your browser, your camera, your music, the Play Store, missed calls, your personal email, unread, and then you go to all apps down here, back to the stock theme of Android. And that is a huge plus. So that is a quick look at, uh, I think, one of the best launchers that I've ever used uh, on, on Android, and it's called Themer. Now remember, it is in beta. So um, you'll have to download it from the App Store. Once you install it, it'll give you, it'll tell you that you know you got to get an activation code. So just follow the steps to get the activation code. And then in a day or so, well, again, I don't know how long it could take, but it took about a day for me. And there was eighty thousand people ahead of me, uh, close to eighty. It was like seventy something. It was close to eighty thousand people ahead of me waiting to get their activation code. So once you get your activation code, then you you can only activate that code with one device. So make sure you're putting it on the Android device that you want to use it on. You can't put it on multiple devices, so make sure you're putting it on the Android device that you want to use it on, and you will be good to go. And, uh, oh, I'm glad this came up. So uh, I've already used this, but when I took it off, I guess I didn't save it. So again, you can choose your primary source for music. So I'm going to choose music uh, from Google Play. And now when I press that, it'll go straight into the Google Play Store. Uh, excuse me, the music uh, there. And also, it should do the same thing for browser. Oh, I think I've already had that one set. Okay. So, there is a themer on Android. This is on my Samsung Galaxy Note 3. If you're tired of the TouchWiz or you just want to change it for just a day or so or just have something different, themer is definitely a nice addition uh, to your smartphone. Um, again, it's still in beta, so you will have to wait to get a code from them, but uh, it's definitely worth the shot to, to download, and it just looks fantastic on this large screen. Um, I can't imagine, I, I don't believe this is probably available for iOS. I didn't check, so as of this video, 10-16-2013, um, uh, I don't know if it's available. I'll check after we get off, though, but uh, yeah, it's definitely beautiful on this large screen. I mean, it is just fantastic as you can see there if I pull down you get your you get your notification bar alright guys I will see you in the next video and thank you so much take care